Hello. When I began my cancer treatment, I had no idea what I was going to be letting for. And I found that the language of oncology is a very foreign language. And sometimes, because of the busyness and the fact that you're just a number in the system, um, you know, emotion and feelings don't get into the conversation, which is a shame because, you know, important information can be lost. However, recently I met up with the surgeon who operated on me nine months afterwards and he felt around my neck and shoulders and asked me how I was doing. All very polite small talk. I've got a lot of respect for my surgeon, Oscar. And then he said, well, we know all the treatment you're going through and the way you're responding and we'll have to follow you up for the next five years. And I said to him, well, if I won the lottery, I would move down to the Sunshine Coast. And he says, well, we'll find someone to look after you. So, I basically have a seven year sentence as a professional patient, which I can't escape from. Throughout my complicated life, I have dealt with things by moving on to greener pastures. I got away from the craziness of my parents when I was very young by running away from home. I've moved on from other situations by going to art college and uh, higher, further education and then eventually university. I've uh, after a, a bloody knife attack for which I was a victim, I lived in a tin shed with three cats. You know, I've always had a sense of independence that regardless of how awful things were, and they could be very awful, I could move on, find something else. But now, with this cancer, I can't move on from it. It's taken away my independence. My well-being is gone. I have neck pain all the time. Seratic arthritis, psoriasis flares, loss of taste buds, problems with my ears, with tinnitus. And these are issues that aren't going to be resolved by just getting away from them because I just can't really escape it. No, when I was younger, there used to be boarding houses where old men who had done their duty by their country and themselves would live out their lives in sort of a quiet solitude. And they weren't a problem to anyone. And that was just the way people uh, lived and died in those days. But that's all gone now. I don't like hospitals. I hate the way your independence is lost at the door and nursing homes really frighten me. All for your own good? What a cursed expression. I think my survival is a bit of a hollow victory. What do you think? Oh, I'm a test, but I'm a test.